In this video, we're going to take a look at what happens when we put calcium carbonate with hydrochloric acid. That's CaCO3 plus HCl. Here you can see we have the solid, that white powder, that's the calcium carbonate. And then we drop the aqueous HCl, hydrochloric acid, right on that. And the reaction happens right away. We get calcium chloride, that's dissolved in the liquid, and carbon dioxide gas. Those are the bubbles you're seeing, and then some water. So this is the equation for the reaction of calcium carbonate with hydrochloric acid. And it's kind of important because when the ocean absorbs carbon dioxide, it produces a weak acid. It's not hydrochloric acid, but it's enough of an acid that it dissolves shells, like in the picture here, over time. It's called ocean acidification. So watch what happens when I take a shell, a seashell, and I put some hydrochloric acid on. Again, this is stronger than what would happen with ocean acidification, but you can see those bubbles. That's the carbon dioxide gas we saw earlier. That calcium carbonate, that shell, which is made of mostly calcium carbonate, it's dissolving. After a while, it'll be gone. All of it will be dissolved calcium chloride, dissolved in the solution. The gas will go away, the carbon dioxide, and we'll have a little extra water. Ocean acidification happens because fossil fuels create a lot of carbon dioxide. That gets absorbed in the ocean, and that makes the ocean a little bit more acidic. And that can have a big impact on aquatic life, like animals with shells and the animals that eat them. This is Dr. B with the reaction of calcium carbonate with an acid. In this case, we used hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.